friends welcome back to another video today we are going to be making another oil painting video so the first thing I did was mix my colors and then add it to the canvas I first added gesso to it and then I reapplied color pencil over so I was able to see the lines better but last time I didn't add a reference picture but today this is the reference picture that I'm working off of. If you guys are interested in using the reference photo I used, you could just go ahead and see it linked in the description below. So I started adding some shadows and mid-tones to the canvas, but I soon realized that the paint wasn't opaque enough so it was really transparent so you were st still able to see the canvas through the paint so I tried my best to lay it on thick literally and from there I would just blend it in with the color underneath So usually whenever I try painting, I try mixing my colors beforehand so that it is easier to apply to the surface and you don't really have to take the time to keep adjusting colors and hues and keep on going back and forth. But this time I tried experimenting more with just getting the color and applying it as fast as possible, but that didn't really work out. So the reason why I say that is because for this piece, I felt like the colors were oversaturated. The reason for that is because some of the highlights were more yellowy and shadows were more orange than I wanted. Um, so I would definitely try mixing those a bit better before I added it to the canvas instead of just putting it down and then blending because ultimately that led to a lot of muddy colors. But again, I always try over refining. So if there is a mistake, I just keep going back and forth with different colors and see what really works well. As you could see, I am just laying down a base color and then from there I will adjust the color as I want it. Um, so for the base color, I just went with a nice light brown, but then I decided maybe I should go darker because in the end it actually is a shadow. So I kept going darker and darker just to see if I'm able to add a little bit more of a contrast and make sure that I get give the illusion that she is facing away from the light. Um, as you could see, I kept going darker. <laughs> um, it, but in the end, once I started blending everything, I ultimately really liked how it looked. Um, I really struggled with this a lot. I kept on taking breaks. Um, I kept on looking back and forward just because sometimes since you're so close to the painting, you don't actually see what it looks like. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes you really just got to take a break and step back and look at it and see what you need to fix from there because if you're staring at it so closely, you might not see the painting as a whole. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyways, so I then started adding some details into the eyes and adding some basic shapes that I could eventually end up blending out. So I'm going to be honest with you, for a large portion of this painting, I did not like it. Um, there's always a ugly 
part of the painting for the most part okay some people just skip past that sometimes but for this one I think it was for the majority of the painting it had an ugly stage I kept on going back and forth with the coloring and I wasn't seeing any progress until I stepped back and started blending in the colors So once I was done with the eyes, I started moving on to the mouth. Um, usually my favorite part is actually painting the lips, but for this one, it was the shadows were just really throwing me off, so I really struggled with it. But once I was able to get the basic shape down, I was pretty happy with it. As you could see with the reference picture, she did have a ponytail, but ultimately I ended up scrapping it. There were a lot of parts that I really just struggled with and ended up just removing from the reference picture because I was not able to be happy with it. My other favorite part is also adding details to the eyes, so like the pupils, the dark shadows, the little light reflection, and of course, the eyelashes. So once I scraped away the ponytail, I realized that the mark that it left the canvas gave her almost a shadow of long hair, and I really actually just wanted to go for that, so I added in some long hair, um, I wanted it to go over her shoulder just because I honestly neglected that shoulder and didn't care too much for it. So <laughs> I ended up just adding some strands over her shoulder and adding in the finishing touches to the chest area so it would look more complete like the face. I also ended up just adding a few more details um, here and there all throughout the painting. I tried adding an ear as best as I could, adding a few details to the forehead, adding um, a few more strands, removing some parts of the hair, reapplying it, um, just so that it could look more realistic. But ultimately, this is pretty much just what it ended up looking like. Um, I was actually surprisingly really happy with how it turned out. This is definitely one of the paintings that I said trust the process with, but ultimately this is what it looked like. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. I hope to see you guys soon.